Welcome back to Pet Tales. Animals like bags come in an assortment of sizes, shapes and colors. Now some look stunning, but others can be quite an eyesore. But no matter what, they never fail to put a smile on your face. Take a look at some of these guys. Meet Danka, the Chihuahua. In 2004, this little one held a record for smallest dog in the world. Weighing 850 grams and measuring a length of 7.4 inches, this tiny furball probably changed the meaning of the size extra small in doggy world. In 2005, Danka lost the title to her even smaller friend Brandy from Florida and USA. Brandy is 6 inches in length and currently holds the Guinness record for smallest dog in the world. Talk about fitting in the palm of your hand. Speaking of which, it's time you met a horsey that falls under the fit in the palm of your hand category as well. Okay, not really, but Thumbelina's name surely suggests it. This 7-year-old horse weighs 26 kilograms and is 70.5 inches was, uh, tall and is the smallest horse fitness. in the world. She is a dwarf mini and so she is about 17 and a half inches tall and according to Guinness she's the smallest horse in history. From fit in the palm of your hand to minuscule, take a look at these pigs. That's right folks, these are probably some of the smallest full-grown pigs you've ever laid eyes on. Next time someone calls a pig fat and ugly, well, they better not. But ugly is a word you can use on some of these pooches. In fact, it might just be a compliment. Say hello to some of the ugliest dogs in the world. Dog. All they do is hang around the table, hold them some will throw them some food. She does have some qualities of an ugly dog. She's got the tongue hanging out, the cataracts in both eyes. Uh, she's drooling from her nose right now. Uh, warts all over her skin, a crooked, broken tail, um, bald ears. So there's there's a couple things that might make her a little ugly. Her dog's best meal, quick and I'm done talking about dog now. Okay, now this next one is just for laughs. This cockatoo doesn't hold a record of any sort, but in my books, he definitely has the makings of a great headbanger. I mean, just look at him go. Reminded me of James Hetfield from Metallica. Oh, and that voice is to die for. Back to our battle of the sizes, meet George. Giant George. He recently made it into the Guinness Book of Records for being the tallest living dog and tallest dog ever. Hailing from Arizona, USA, this blue grey Dane weighs 111 kilograms. He is 7 feet 3 inches from nose to tail and stands at 43 inches from paw to shoulder. This massive fella, owned by David and Christine Nasser, sleeps on his own queen size bed and consumes 110 pounds of food each week. That is one big dog. Imagine what it would be like to walk this mammoth hound. We got him when he was seven weeks old. He was 17 pounds and he had huge paws and um, he was just a ball of fur basically. Everyone was telling us how big his paws were and how big he was for a Great Dane. And um, so it just kind of went from there. And then every month he just got you know, bigger and bigger. He kept gaining weight, kept getting taller. And um, so we really had no idea how big he was going to get. He's like 100 pounds bigger than an average Great Dane. Now, if George bowled you over with his tallness, your jaws will surely hit the floor thanks to this cat. Now, this feline, for the lack of a better word, is fat and probably one of the fattest in the world. Mind you, I've seen my share of plus-size kitties, but this one is in a league of its own. In some corner of Chennai city, I can hear my vet screaming. <coughs> Meet Melon and Pumpkin. These cute kitties are probably from the same litter and desperately need new homes. They are cuddly and loving and have the sweetest mews ever. Take a kitten home today. The number to call is 9962968265. <coughs> Now it's time to meet Deepak John's bunny rabbit, Bon Bon. This six-month-old furball was rescued from cruel conditions by Deepak John from a flea market when it was just a month old. Now this rabbit is healthy, cute, loving and as furry as ever. He's safe and happy in his loving home and spends his time chewing on just about anything he can get his furry paws on. Deepak says that this bunny stands for everything that is good in the world. 
This episode has made me warm and fuzzy. I'm sure you agree. It's time for me to say woof woof. But before I go, remember to send in your pictures, your feedback, and your pet stories to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com or call us at double nine four one three double two triple two. Until I see you again, remember pets are better people than people. See ya.